Hello and welcome to another Performance TV presented by Top Coat. We're back in the Performance TV garage with another great show for you. High performance of all kinds, starting off with a very vital piece of the engine. Joining us from Total Seal, Lake Speed Jr. And before we talk parts, let's talk names. Lake Speed, there's not too many of those out there. Not too many. My dad, as you probably know, is a famous NASCAR driver who raced from 1980 through 1998. And Maybe more importantly, in 1978, he beat some guy named Ayrton Senna for the World Go-Karting Champion. And so you have lived a life in motorsports, devoted a whole lot of time to internal engine tribology. What is that? So tribology is the study of friction, wear, and lubrication. And a piston ring is one of the few components in an engine that actually sees all three stages of lubrication in every single cycle of an engine. So a piston ring is really low-hanging fruit when it comes to performance in an engine. It's really a great way to gain a lot of power without a lot of effort, not a lot of money either. For example, a shelf piston is pretty easy to get. They typically cost less money and you can upgrade the performance of that custom piston just by putting in a high quality ring package. I know there's gas porting on a piston and that's something some people might want. You guys are using that technology in the rings. How does that work? A gas ported piston ring puts the gas ports in the ring as opposed to the piston. You've got combustion pressures of over 1500 PSI above the piston trying to get past the rings. Its job is to keep the combustion pressures above the piston so it can move the piston and then keep the motor oil below the piston so the two don't get together. So the idea of a gas port is to use that combustion pressure to force the ring out, to seal the ring against the cylinder wall, that way that combustion gas can't get by and the motor oil can't get up. So usually you can get a gas ported ring along with a shelf piston for less money than a custom piston. Now not to say custom pistons aren't a good idea in certain applications. Obviously in HRA Pro Stock, NASCAR, those are custom pistons because then you're going to use the really thin rings like 0.5 millimeter ring versus say a 1.5 millimeter ring, which is pretty stock, you know, in a production engine today, that much thinner ring is like a thinner file or a narrower ski or thinner tire, less rolling resistance, less friction. So to make the most power, you need that thin, thin ring. To do that, you typically need to have a custom piston to get the super thin ring. Although I say that we do make spacers that you can put in to the shelf piston because typically the shelf piston is going to come like a 5 64th or a 16th inch ring groove pretty big ring with a spacer you can now go to a thinner say a 0.8 millimeter ring not the super thinnest for the most most power but still a lot thinner than say a 1.5 millimeter ring you can see significant, when I say significant, I mean over 10 horsepower. Just yesterday, we had a customer call us up. They had tried some gas ported rings, 043 gas ported rings and a standard piston, 22 horsepower. Because we've got guys building LSs and Coyotes. They want to make a lot of power, but not necessarily cutting edge power. They don't want to be on the ragged edge. They want to have reliability and still make power. You're using racing technology to help them achieve that. Exactly. I mean, the idea of gas porting has been around since the 70s. I mean, I think Grumpy Jenkins is the guy they attributed it to years and years ago. So gas porting isn't new, but a gas ported ring is something we've been doing at Total Seal for our professional teams for several years now. So it's proven technology because one of the downsides to gas ports is they tend to get dirty over time just because there's combustion buildup. Well, when that happens, it's like turning the faucet off, right? You're using that gas pressure to help increase the seal. That's what makes it work better. But if the gas ports get dirty, it's like turning off that faucet. Now you're not getting the pressure. The performance isn't there. Well, two ways you can solve that with a gas ported ring. One, the gas ported ring is always touching the cylinder wall and always moving. So it's self cleaning. Number two, being, like you said, a tribologist, you know, I'm a chemical engineer trained, you know, kind of guy. Well, pistons are made out of aluminum. The detergents in the oil don't work on aluminum, but they do work on steel, 
which your piston rings are made out of. And there you have it. Racing technology available for your car. You might not even have to get a custom piston to maximize your power. For more information, check out their website. There's a whole lot going on there.